Hey everyone, welcome back to Harl's Garage. I know it's been a minute since y'all have seen my 2020 Ford Ranger here, but I'm glad to say that it's back from the dealership after about two months. So for those that don't know, I was in, in, in the fall, I had um, noticed that when I was checking the oil levels, basically, I, I noticed that my uh, oil had, oil level had not only risen, but it also that the dipstick started to smell like almost like raw raw fuel i was also getting a heavy gasoline smell inside the cab as well as just standing outside of the truck initially i thought it may just be my catch can they do produce a lot of blow by um, even when i had a catch can on my 392 charger every now and then you could smell that blow by smell it's it's kind of like raw gasoline but just slightly different so I was kind of used to that smell when the truck would either sit in the driveway or the garage it something wasn't very alarming but what did get alarming was that my oil level was rising uh, so I initially took it to the dealership they since I changed my own oil they changed the oil for me and they scribed the dipstick where they had the level uh, set told me to bring the truck back after several thousand miles however after 500 miles yeah the oil level had start to started to rise again um, past that top dot that's on the dipstick so i brought the truck back to them after about 500 miles and they started diving into the truck and and tried to figure out what what the issue was and uh, here's the service slip here to, here's what they did So as you can see from that service slip, what they end up doing was changing out my injectors. Um, they determined that they were bad, that they were, you know, essentially as the truck would just sit overnight or just sit, it was slowly leaking or dro uh, droplets of fuel were leaking out of the injectors, which then work its way down into the uh, oil pan or excuse me, the sump. That's hopefully why my uh, oil level was rising. You know, the injectors shouldn't be leaking like that when the truck's just sitting, uh, sitting idle or just sitting rather without running. So hopefully that fixes the issue. Fingers crossed there. Um, you know that that does. It, it is frustrating when when issues arise on new vehicles, but it hasn't scared me off completely. So it's still under warranty, and everything was covered under warranty. So that's really the update that I have now for you guys. I'm just gonna have to be. Put, I'm just gonna have to put more miles on the truck for now, really. Um, so far, I only have a little over a hundred since I got it back from the dealership. But I'll try to do an update video after about a thousand miles, and I can start doing my own. Um, you know, checking the oil level again, because uh, 100 miles is going to be too soon. But we'll 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 see. After a couple hundred more miles, I'll start checking the dipstick. Um, I've already taken a photo and recorded what the dipstick looks like now from you know leaving the dealership after it sat for a while. So I know the oil level is good now, and so far everything's fine. Uh, the truck's running fine, and really the truck didn't run bad to begin with. I just no just could notice a heavy fuel smell and notice that my oil level was rising when it you know shouldn't. So that was the issue that I was having. Um, I know a lot of y'all are starting to notice that issue. And I know, like I said, in the original videos where I did these, there's that 90 plus page thread on the Ranger uh, 5G forums about this issue. So I'm one of probably only a few people that have actually had their injectors replaced by Ford. There's, there's not many people, even though people are starting to uh, determine that this is an issue or, or noticing that this is an issue. I guess I'm one of the first handful of people that's actually Ford has done something about it uh, and they did contact Ford engineers about it so they're they're aware of the issue as far as like a mass fix or if they ever going to do like a TSB for it. I don't know you know we'll, <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. I, I mean I know every single Ranger owner isn't having this issue um, but then again a lot of people don't check their oil or check you know check their uh, uh, fluid levels on their vehicle probably as much as they should. So hopefully that fixes my issue. I have plenty planned for this truck. I'm, I'm wanting to get new front bumpers, uh, excuse me, a new front bumper and rear bumper here in, within the next few months. Now this RCI rack, which I, I like very much, I'm gonna upgrade to a different rack. Um, not 100% sure which rack I'm gonna get just yet, but I have a, a coworker that wants to buy it and put it on his Tacoma, which this is this will fit on his Tacoma. Uh, the issue, the only issue that I'm really having with this rack is clearance because uh, the the 12 inch rack isn't bad, but you can see here for like these roto packs mounts, I don't get quite the amount of clearance that I want for my rooftop tent. So I'm gonna get something just a little bit taller, not like the full size 18 inch one, but something a little bit taller. So be on the lookout for that video soon. 
I'm also planning to finally do um, an exhaust upgrade. I don't know which which brand um, exhaust I'm going to go with yet. There's several pretty good sounding ones on the market for the Ranger here. Um, so we're just going to have to, I'm going to do a little bit more research and figure out which one I want. And one of the last things, the last kind of major upgrades that I'll do that I need to get done, um, if you've seen my video before on taking out the rear seat, that was a, a pretty popular video that I've had of mine. Uh, let me move the sun visor here. Now you can see I have my rear seat out. Now one of the things I want to do to finish this off was was build a uh, platform for here so I can set more gear back here. Cause that's one of my only gripes about this truck is um, it's very comfortable, rides really well, especially with you know how I've done the suspension with the Fox 2Os and everything. But you just don't get a lot of room in these back seats here for um, you know putting down gear because they don't fold down flat. So that's really the one of the only things I dislike about the truck. Hopefully. Hopefully though, everything is fixed um, with my fuel issue. Hopefully these new injectors fix everything. So yeah guys, that was my quick update video. I got a lot planned for the truck. As long as it doesn't have to go back to the dealership for any reason, uh, I have plenty of videos in the works for you guys. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.